Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I want to teach you how to play the very awesome Majora's Mask Song of Healing, okay? It's very awesome. Okay, here we go. Give you a preview of what you're gonna learn today, okay? So firstly, you're gonna learn like the main theme section and that goes like this, okay? Check it out. All right, so it goes like this. Here's a preview. So let's go ahead and learn it, okay? So you can't see some of the stuff here, so let's do it like an octave higher than usual so you can see everything, okay? Let me see, okay. Okay. Okay, let's do it here so it, like we can see all the keys on the left hand. But anyway, let's go. Alrighty, okay, right hand. So it starts with a B, so normally you just start with the B above middle C, but now I'm just gonna show you here so you can see everything, okay? So right hand, the first part goes like this. It goes B, A, down to F and repeat those three notes again B A F and then once again B A and then down to E D E like that and that's it for the right hand for the first part pretty simple first part one more time so it goes like this so it goes B A F repeat those three notes A F and then B A down to E D E like that okay so that's the right hand so the rhythm is pretty straightforward it just goes Like that, okay, pretty easy there for the rhythm. That's the right hand. Okay, left hand, okay, so what we do here for the left hand is pretty uh, awesome because we have like this kind of like pattern going on, but I'll tell you the pattern at the end. For now, I'm just gonna teach you the block, uh, block chords first, then at the end that you can apply the pattern I'll teach you, okay? But anyway, all right, so, okay, firstly, these chords are really interesting because um, it actually very makes the song ambiguous. It's only the fifth of the chords, okay? It's always doing like F, C, and the upper octave is F, like that, okay? Yeah, if your hands can't reach this, it's all right. Just like later on, I'll tell you the pattern where you do this. Okay, but anyway, let's do it. If you can, just like focus on. If you can't reach it, just do the these lower two notes first, and afterwards I'll tell you what to do. But anyway, yeah. So remember F, C, F, like that. And for every single other one, it's the same thing where like you apply the fifth to it like that, okay? So firstly, the four chords here, we have the F plus the fifth. That's the first one. And then you play for three times, so second time and third time. And then the fourth pattern, fourth chord, it's E, which is E, B, E, okay? So this fifth chord pattern, okay? So E, B, E. So yeah, so with those four things in mind, so F, the F thing for three times and then the E, one time. So remember that one, two, three, four, like that. So what? Two hands together goes like this. It goes B and F together. So it's together. 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 Two, three, like that. Just like that. Pretty simple. One more time. So it goes like this. Together. Two, three. Together. Two, three. Together. Two. Okay, so remember, if you can't reach it, just do the lower two notes of the left hand. But at the end, I'll show you how to do the pattern, as I said before. But anyway, that's the first part. And then the awesome thing about the second part is because the second part is actually exactly the same as the first part. So we just learned it already. So again, once again. Like that. Simple, okay, because it's exactly the same as the first part, okay? Once we've got that second part, the third part goes like this, okay? Right hand continues, goes F, C, B. Repeat those three notes again. F, C, B, F, E, down to B, A, B, like that. That's the right hand for the third part, okay? One more time for the third part, so it goes like this, check it out. It goes F, C, B, F, C, B, F, E, B, A, B, like that, okay? So you can see that that's the same amount of notes and also the rhythm is actually exactly the same rhythmic pattern as the first part, okay? It's a one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, like that, okay? 
okay? So it's kind of, well, actually, I think I did it a little bit different every single time, okay? But okay, this is the actual correct one, okay? So one more time, so F, C, B, F, C, B, F, E, B, A, B, like that, okay? So that's the 100% correct one. Let's do it one more time, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, just like that for the right hand. All right, so that's that for the right hand. The left hand, okay, exactly the same chord pattern. Uh, well, not the chord pattern, like it's the same concept where you only do the ambiguous the fifth, no third, okay? So it's just, it's just D plus the fifth, do it for twice, and then two of the C version, which is just C, G, C, like that for two times. Okay, so one more time, so D, A, D is the D pattern, so do that twice, and then the C pattern twice as well. So those are the four, like, fifth chords, okay? So the two hands together goes like this, goes F and D minor, well, not the D minor, or the D pattern together. So once again, it's the same placement of the chords where it's like every three. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. So one more time, together, two, three, together, two, three, together, two, three, together. Two, three, just like that, okay? Yeah, okay. Now let's go ahead and like that's the third part. The three parts that I've learned so far we've played back to back like this. Check it out. So the fourth and the last part of this lesson, teaching this section, goes like this. Right hand, um, let me see. Okay, it's actually really pretty much nearly the same as the third part. The only difference is the last two notes, okay? And there's no the three faster notes there, okay? So check it out. Okay, all this first half, first three quarters is the same. Check it out. It goes, same here, same here. But now, after the E, it changes, goes to the higher B, and then G and C together, like that. Okay, one more time, it goes like this. Together, two, three, two, two, three, two, now change B, G, like that, and G and C together, remember. Okay, so that's the fourth part, okay? So back to back, the four parts we play like this, check it out. Like that, okay? So what you want to do is to get this really good and secure. So once you get this block, uh, left hand and the right hand melody all good and all correct all the time, like very consistent, then you can apply the pattern for the left hand that I'm going to teach you now. Okay, so the pattern. Okay, so for all of the left hand like block, you want to now transform them into this pattern, where it's like lowest note, middle note, highest note, middle, high, middle, like that. So one, two, Okay, so low mid, high mid, high mid, like that. Remember that, just say it out loud in your head. Low mid, high mid, high mid, for every single one. For Even for the E one, same thing. Low mid, high mid, high mid. Same for the D one. D, low mid, high mid, high mid. Same for the D one. Low, whoops, low mid, high mid, high mid, okay? And then applying the pattern just goes simply like this. Okay, so if you can't coordinate your hand, left hand to do that pattern, then don't. Just do the block version because it's always like that, okay? It depends on different people. So like, if you learn faster, you can do the uh, block one really easily, then 
decide to move on to this pattern, okay? But anyway, as for now, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Go ahead and enjoy your time around my channel for all my other piano covers and tutorials. I have over 2,000. Subscribe if you haven't and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload more and more of these videos. But anyway, as for now, enjoy your time on my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.